James Cook University played host this weekend to the opening keynote address with Dr. Paul Lamb in the Thai Chief for Health series of workshops. There are numerous speakers and numerous workshops over the weekend. Tonight was the keynote address. We joined them and had a bit of a chat to uh, Dr. Paul and uh, had a little bit of a look around as well. Uh, Dr. Lamb here today in Townsville. It's a, it's a beautiful weekend for Tai Chi and I believe there's been uh, a big turnout for, uh, for your seminars across the weekend. What can participants expect? They can expect to have a wonderful time, to learn a lot about Tai Chi, and to understand the deeper meaning of Tai Chi and enjoy the practice even more. Dr. Lam, I believe there's been a lot of research into Tai Chi and better health. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. There's just an explosion of research. Uh, essentially, it's about health, especially about falls prevention. Falls for especially older people is a huge problem. Uh, it costs billions of dollars around the country and it's fun. Tai Chi is one of the very few things that actually reduce the risk of falling for older people. But at the same time, Tai Chi is effective for relaxation, for health, for fitness. Uh, just about anything to do with health, Tai Chi is good for you. And of course, across the age groups, Tai Chi for everybody? Absolutely. We, we think anyone can benefit from Tai Chi. And looking at some of the common diseases that are around today, what are some of the specifics that Tai Chi is targeting as far as uh, helping and, and, and helping with the, the cure and possibly helping with making some of the symptoms a little bit uh, easier to handle? Especially the chronic conditions like arthritis, diabetes, uh, chronic disease, heart disease, all those things will respond to Tai Chi. All these things are caused by lifestyle, by lack of exercise. And Tai Chi certainly is a wonderful exercise. But there's a lot more than that. Our life is full of stress. And stress contributes to all these conditions as well. And Tai Chi does all that together. But how have you found the, found the growth of Tai Chi across the world, and particularly across Australia, in, in recent years? Is it becoming more popular? Absolutely. Ten years ago, a lot of people haven't even heard of what is Tai Chi. But now, even the health departments know Tai Chi very, very well. They know the latest studies and they know how effective it is and enjoyable it is. Excellent. Dr. Lam, thank you very much for joining us tonight. And, uh, and uh, look, have a wonderful weekend, Tai Chi, and I hope that um, this really takes off in Townsville because there are a lot of stressed people in town. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.